Yo, what is going on squad? Thanks for clicking on today's video. I'm going to be talking about something that's very important when it comes to making fitness a lifestyle, a lifestyle. That should be everyone's goal. You want to make this stuff a lifestyle. You don't want to just do something to lose weight or do something to build muscle and get abs and not make it a part of who you are. That is truly the sauce. That is truly the formula for making this stuff really stick is approaching this as trying to make it a lifestyle. But anyway, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'm giving away free t-shirts to the matter of fact, if you check in right now, notification squad check in right now, I'm going to be picking two people and I'm going to be giving away a free get well, get money t-shirt or tank top, whatever you want. Background on me. If you're, if you're new to the channel, right? Let me give you a little background. My name is Robert Bricks Glover. About six years ago, I lost about 150 pounds. And on this channel, I share everything I've learned from the mindset to the nutrition, to the exercises that allowed me to transform not just my body, but my entire life. Before I jump into the meat and potatoes of this video, I wanna let you guys know I have a podcast. And I also have a website where I offer long-term fitness solutions. We offer meal planning. I have a, an amazing online coaching program. And we also offer fitness programs. So go to bricksfitness.com if you're ready to commit. I don't want any tire kickers. Um, and also check out my, my podcast, get, the Get Well, Get Money podcast. It is on Stitcher. It is on iTunes. It is on... Uh, Spotify, everywhere you can find podcasts, you can find the Get Well, Get Money podcast. Check that out, subscribe, leave a review. Anyway, so today's video is about balancing weight loss and a social life. So normally when we're talking about fitness and nutrition, social life is kind of the opposite of, of the healthy lifestyle, but that doesn't have to be the case. It's, it's, it's all about how you approach it. It's all about how you think about it. Now, there's three different approaches that I'm gonna to discuss today. There's the extreme approach, there's the balanced approach, and then there's a hybrid approach, which is a mix between the two, right? And I'll explain that a little bit later. So it depends a lot on your personality, it depends a lot on your schedule, it depends a lot on your lifestyle and your career, and a lot of other factors that will determine what's the best approach for you. I can, t let me, let me share my story, right? I can, I'm the expert of, at my story, obviously. I took the extreme approach and if I could go back, I would do it differently. For one, matter of fact, let me, let me get into it right now. I'll give you guys my personal anecdote as we touch on certain topics. So let's just, ex let's explain the extreme approach. This is when you have a very specific weight loss goal, or let's just say a fitness goal in general, right? And you totally isolate yourself. And this is what I did. I went into a cave. I didn't go to the bar. I didn't hang out with my friends. I didn't go to the club. I didn't go out to eat. I, I just, I just stayed in the house. If I wasn't in the gym, I was in the crib and that was it. And that honestly led to me getting quick results, right? Which is all right, I'm gonna break down the pros and cons. So some of the pros, right? You get you get quick results. You you're, you're extremely focused because you don't have any distractions, right? But I think that's all the pros there is, right? You get quick results, but the, the results don't last long. So let's go into the cons. The cons, my mental health, right? By taking the extreme approach, I had very poor mental health. I was absolutely miserable. You know, I had no balance in my life. I was lonely. I was depressed at times. So this extreme approach didn't serve me well. I'm not saying it won't work for you, but it doesn't serve, it didn't serve me and it doesn't serve most people well. I ended up hating my life. Like it was, it, it, it sucked. It, I was absolutely miserable and it definitely negatively affected my mental health, straight up. So now let's talk about the more balanced approach. Now, I think the balanced approach, right? And this is kind of the opposite spectrum. You're not going super extreme. You're not isolating yourself. But once in a while, you'll sprinkle in, you know, an, a night out with your friends where you have a few drinks. 
and take yourself out for dinner. Maybe, you know, let's just say three times a month, right? Let's say you do this three times a month. Um, there's pros and cons, just like with the extreme approach. With this approach, you'll find ways to incorporate fitness and nutrition into your lifestyle better, right? Because the extreme approach is exactly what it says. It's, a, it's an extreme approach. It's not something that you can sustain over a long period of time, right? But when you take the more balanced approach, you learn how to massage good nutrition and exercise into your everyday life. And in my opinion, that's way more valuable, right? But again, it depends on your personality. It depends on what your goals are. If you have certain timelines and all that jazz. So, but I just want to give you guys the, the whole entire picture. Now, with the balanced approach, your results, right? Some of the cons, your results aren't going to be as fast, which is a good thing in my opinion, right? But everyone wants quick results. I get it. I've been there. I'm not judging you. Um, but your, your results are a little bit slower. Honestly, I think that's the only con. The results are a little bit slower, but the pros, you have a way better mental health state. You, again, you're able to, to massage everything into your lifestyle. You, you just feel better. You're, you're more confident. You're, you're able to, to, to commit longer. Right? Because this is a more realistic expectation. You have the marathon mindset approach. You're able, you're able to enjoy life while pursuing your, your fitness goals, which is very, very key because if you don't enjoy life while you're trying to make fitness a part of your lifestyle, it's almost impossible to make it a habit. It's, it's almost impossible to ingrain these practices into your life if while you're doing it, you're absolutely hating life. It just makes sense. Um, now the third approach, which is kind of a hybrid approach. Now, I think this approach would work, uh, well for a lot of people. I think this kind of gives you the best of both worlds. If you go in strategically saying, okay, in the beginning, I want to get some really, I want to, I want to come out the gate, getting some results. That's going to keep me inspired. That's going to motivate me, right? Let's get the momentum going. And if you strategically plan, if you say, okay, I'm going to go hard for the first six weeks, I'm not going to go out. I am going to be focused 100% on my nutrition and on, on, on exercise. And then after six weeks, I'll slowly start incorporating more social situations, right? And I'm going to get into some details in a second. I'm going to start sprinkling in social situations where I'll hang out with my friends once in a while after the first six weeks. So this is the hybrid approach. Now, when you're doing the balanced approach or the hybrid approach, you want to make sure that you are still mindful of the calories that you're intaking, but you're not restricting them. So yes, you can go out and have maybe two or three drinks, right? But instead of getting, you know, those fruity drinks with all the sugar and, you know, all that crap that they put in these drinks, these mixed drinks, let's just go with a, a vodka tonic. You're still enjoying yourself. You're still getting a little, you know, alcohol in your system. You're still vibing out with your friends, right? But you're saving yourself tons of calories from, you know, just ixnaying the sugar and all that jazz, right? That's one way to have some balance with it. Another way, just make sure you're cutting back, right? Let's say for instance, right now you go out to eat and, and have drinks with your friends once a week or twice a week. For some of us, it may be three or four times a week. Let's, if you're taking the balance approach, let's start off by just cutting back till about 50% of what you normally would do, right? And then you slowly cut back as time progresses, but you're not restricting yourself. You're not saying, no, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to lose weight, so I'm not gonna go out and have fun with my friends. No, that's not the right approach if you're uh, approaching this with, the, with balance in mind, if you're approaching this with a marathon mindset. Um, but you'll be surprised how those small tweaks, those small pivots will make a, a big difference, especially when you're com compounding it over time, right? If you switch from having margaritas to just having vodka and tonic, right? That little tweak alone will, 
will take you a long way. And if you're switching from, okay, you're committing to, all right, if I have a few drinks, I'm not going to eat pizza after we leave the bar. I'm gonna make sure I go home and I have something healthy to eat. And that's the hard part when it comes to consuming alcohol and trying to lose weight. Really the alcohol, it does slow down your fat loss efforts, it does, I'm not gonna lie. But the damage is really done because our inhibitions lower once we have alcohol in our system. And now we just wanna eat whatever. So again, it's a case by case. You gotta know yourself enough to strategize how to stay out of your own way when alcohol is in your system. I hope, I hope this video was helpful. Um, share the channel. We're almost at 500,000 subscribers. Please like the video. I'm trying to get this, I'm trying to get each video to 2,000 likes. Brick Squad, hold me down, like the video. And if you or anyone you know can benefit from the content that I discuss on this channel, please share it with them. As always, guys, I'm just trying to share the wellness with you. So get well and get money.